Uh, when we shift to the second component of the unit, it's about yourself. So, you will say your first name by saying my first name is so-and-so and you will say you something about your last name. My last name is the family name. Then you will say something about your age. For example, I am 12 years old or I am 11 years old. It depends. You will give more information about your teacher's name this year. So you will say my teacher's name this year is so and so. And you will say something about your teacher's name last year. And your change is into us. This is talking about yourself. When we come to question formation, yes, uh, yes, the last point you will talk about yourself is to mention your birthplace. You will say, I was born. It's unbecoming to say, I am born. No, I was born in so and so. The asking questions, you're supposed to ask your friends, your classmates, these questions. Note the difference between what is your first name and what's your first name. In spoken English we say what's, what's your first name, what's your first name. The second question, what's your last name, what's your last name. The third question, how old are you, how old are you, how old are you. The fourth question, what's your teacher's name this year, what's, what's your teacher's name this year. The fifth question, what was the name of your teacher last year or what was your teacher's name last year? And the last one, where were you born? Where you born? Note the short form of is in spoken English. It's what's, what's. And notice the change in the tense from is into was. In the grammar focus, the first point is the short form of is. In spoken English, you say what's, what's, it's not what is. Right. Then, I remind you of the present sample of verb to be. You had it in the primary cycle. It's is, and it's preceded with he, it, or she. Am usually follows I. Are is usually preceded with we, they, and you. This is the present simple of verb to be. The past simple of verb to be was and where, was and where, was and where. Was comes with he, she, it, and I. Where comes with we, they, and you. I remind you of the question, where were you born? or when were you born? And your answer will be, I was born in 1990. Now, my final questions to you, if you want to know the name of one of your friends, one of your classmates you haven't met before, you will ask him this question, what's your name? What's your name? You are not going to say, what is your name? What's your name? And he will respond, he will answer by saying, my name is so-and-so, my name is so-and-so. My name is Ahmed, for example. If you want to know something about his birth, about the place of his birth, you will ask him this question, where were you born? Where were you born? And I expect him to say, I expect him to respond to your question by saying, I was born in Cairo. I was born in Cairo. I was born in Cairo. Thank you for listening to the first lesson. I hope you will enjoy Nafham lessons and you will be able to apply them in your daily life. Thank you.